have always been places that have great attraction to people. Areas with high degree of energy and great potential to heal human beings, animals and vegetation. All kinds of living beings prosper particularly well das and strongly der, der at places like Aurong. Uh, Heals place, ne? with 85,000 bogies. Ne? The, the energy is very positive, calming. It's nice. During the visit of the American doctor and scientist, Georges Carlo, here at this magic place of strength, he could immediately recognize the particular energy of El Runk. I can tell already that when you're there, your energy field is a certain thing. When you come out here, Yes. The energy field will expand. Mm -hmm. I can already tell that that's, yes, how, that's yes, going to occur, yes, and yes. that would be uh, nice to be able to document yes. that. Uh. The Swiss Mountain Clinic is a center for biological medicine and traditional European healing methods, an effective concept, and a word of this has spread all over the world. Patients from more than 60 countries have already come here, primarily because of recommendations from contented clients worldwide. It's okay for us to talk about it, though. Yeah. Right? yeah. It's a, okay. yeah so. <laughs> because the world needs to know. Yes. There's no place like this in the world. Mm -hmm. Yes. What you've done here is um, absolutely amazing. This is a huge advance yes. for medicine. Yes. It really is. Fresh, healthy food from the organic kitchen is being offered every day. This is a part of the detoxification concept. The main focus of the medical work, in a proper sense, is profound diagnosis. The medical director, Dr. Petra Wiesel, uses, among other, the dark field microscopy yeah, to obtain deeper cool. insight into the causes of disease and the weak. current condition of the patient. It's come all together, I think, and a couple of minutes, I don't see this plasma, this black background. Mm -hmm. This is as a honeycombs. Mm -hmm. picture here. Mm, interesting. Yes, that wow. is the understanding for this mm -hmm. development and this is a very deep view in, in life processes for me here. Wow. So this is your first, your first mm -hmm. screen? Mm -hmm. yeah. My first screen and after I take on blood and all mm -hmm. this. And wow. after examination and I check in my history about the patients, I can tell you I have a scala from the first day mm -hmm. to now. Mm -hmm. Here is the year and here is the age and I need the most important thing. How was your life, where you live, mm -hmm. how was your child time and so. Mm -hmm. And in this moment I can realize this vaccination, eight vaccination in two weeks or, or, or. Mm -hmm. So, and when it's started to become begin to instable this condition mm -hmm. or so. That's very important. The first talk is 80%, I think. And the other thing are very, very important. To find out the I source really of an illness like and then to adjust it biologically is a blessing for many who have already received this help in the clinic Al Runk. There are some very different reasons why people come to us, and I'm always aware that you have to respect each illness and you have to understand how it developed. Within the limits of today's activities, it is really amazing to analyze electromicroscopically this process. But this process doesn't ask why, and that is the reason for this clinic, where we analyze who you are as a human being. And there are great differences. Each human being has its own capability to compensate. Not everyone gets sick because of toxic stress. Not everyone suffers the loss of another person with the same intensity. And in addition, what kind of life do I lead? To what kind of burdens am I exposed? And how long can I compensate them? And regarding the exposure, decidedly, it is not only the degree of stress, but also the time period and how dramatic it was. 
what stimulates, what triggers a disease of which people are not even aware of for a long period. And even today, often we are not taking enough medical care of those things, instead of supervising them clinically. Take a tumor development, for example. It has a latency period of 10 years at least. And today we have enough means diagnostically to discover early enough that a body can't bear certain burdens endlessly. Due to this, I have grown substantially regarding these really big and difficult items and problems. I'm really sad to recognize that we did not ask certain questions earlier in order to help people, and that those people with ALS and other big problems are very desperate and became very, very sick.